Hello, welcome to uh, Pastors for Yang. Glad that you're with me today. Today I thought I would talk about truth telling and truth tellers. Um, truth is important. The truth will set you free, but the truth will make you miserable beforehand sometimes. God's people have always had truth tellers. Um, throughout the Old Testament especially, um, there were prophets men and women called to speak hard things to the people, to, to let them know that you're actually not as good as you're pretending you are. One of Jesus's um, major roles, obviously besides the dying for our sins, which is a really, really important one, um, but for the, one of the reasons he was not well liked by the the religious establishment was because he told the truth about who they were. Um, he spoke the truth of God. He spoke the truth of grace and forgiveness and also the hard truth of um, repentance. Right? There have been times when um, those who tell the truth are called preachers. And we're in a time when those truth tellers are comedians. Comedians are really the, the truth tellers of our culture. Um, so the reason I'm, I'm saying this is uh, there's, there's some rumors about Dave Chappelle and uh, possibly doing some stuff with the, the Andrew Yank campaign. Um, and so I went and, and watched the... Um, his uh, the special about his acceptance of the um, the Mark Twain Award, which was very recently. Um, I've started watching the the Netflix his special, which um, I've been meaning to watch, but this kind of gave me an opportunity. It's rough. <laughs> it is not for the faint of heart, um, as he says in the thing. You know, like if you're watching this on Netflix, you clicked on my face. Um, but he tells hard truths and he does it with a smile and he does it in entertaining ways. But, um, comedians are those who are able to tell the truth, um, sometimes brutally, but let us look at ourselves, look at our culture. I say that preachers used to do this because I think preachers did used to do this, but we have so anesthetized. And I say this as a preacher, we have so anesthetized our faith and our Christianity. Um, we have so anesthetized what our expectations are for um, for church and worship that when we speak truth, sometimes we get in trouble. Sometimes we get we get long emails. Sometimes we get. Um, pushback. And so it becomes easier to just not tell the truth or tell the truth in nicer ways. And telling the, speaking the truth in love is a, a definite thing that we are supposed to be doing. But sometimes we will shy away because frankly, we, we pastors, we preachers, we like people to like us. Um, and so when people don't like us because we're saying what we feel needs to be said, we're maybe a little bit more shy next time. Now I'm working on this. I am trying to, I try to speak the truth in love. I try to, um, to preach and say the, the hard things. And... There are some folks who I know, um, when people are shaking my hand on, out out of the door, I've got one guy, and if he says that was a great sermon, we're good. If he says have a nice week, I know that I'm probably going to get a long email that afternoon, just because he doesn't like what I say. But for our culture. 
we as the um, the religious establishment, the, the preachers, by and large, don't tell the truth necessarily. We don't. We we shy away from those hard things, and so comedians are those people who are able to to tell us the truth, to to hold the mirror up against us as a culture and say, this is who we are. It's not good. Most of them don't have the, um, the aspect of faith and discipleship and, and call that, that we preachers have. And, and sometimes when we do our job well, we do our job really well because it's not only that hard truth, but it's also that, um, that deep truth of scripture. Politicians are others who should be telling us truth. Should be speaking up and saying hard things and telling us the way things actually are. But they don't. And we know this. I mean, we, tr- we probably trust, as a culture, we trust politicians even less than we do um, preachers. Maybe. I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's, it depends on who you're talking to. But politicians don't tell the truth, or when they tell the truth, they they tell their spin of the truth and what um, what is politically advantageous for them. I was struck earlier this week. I was watching a documentary on on Katrina, uh, the 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 hurricane 15 and a half years ago, 15, 16 years ago, anyways, 15 and a half years ago that hit New Orleans, that, um, so it was all about that and what happened and how that all came about. And I was struck by the, the documentary also went into kind of the, the political aftermath and Nancy Pelosi saying almost exactly the same words that she has been saying about Donald Trump, blaming George Bush, George W. Bush for a hurricane, um, and the response thereof. Whether, and ultimately, yes, he he took um, he took responsibility because he was kind of the head of the thing, but there was a lot of personalities, a lot of things going on there. But she took this political, hey, we we need to do something about this because we don't like this president and this is our chance. Were there there things that he had done wrong? Yes. Were there things that Donald Trump has done wrong? Oh, absolutely. Um, But the way that it's approached is not necessarily, here's the truth way that it's approached, or at least the way that I hear it, and frankly from both sides, is what's in it for me. The politicians say what is best for their party, for their personal career, all of that. And we get sick of it. And you know what? Andrew Yang is a truth teller. He is someone who does not shy away from the hard things that we need to hear as a country. He tells it the way it is and the way it's going to be. Um, the, The picture that he paints for our future, if nothing changes, is not a pretty one. And yet he does it with such grace. He does it with such love. He does it with humor. He does it with actual solutions about how we can go forward. And I think that's one of the reasons why um, the conversion rate for Andrew Yang is immense. The biggest issue that we're facing in polls is that people just don't know who he is. They know who Joe Biden is, so they'd rather, you know, oh, I know that guy. Sure, he was in the Obama White House. Great. Sure, yeah, I, I probably would vote for him. But if you ask people if, you know, are you definitely going to vote for that person? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. If I don't see anything better. You ask the Andrew Yang people who have actually listened to him and and um, first know who he is and then actually listen to him. 
their convert their first their conversion rate to Andrew Yang is incredibly high. And even people who have come from working on other campaigns, they start hearing this person and they go, "Oh my gosh." I have a friend who is not politically active at all and she was watching watching my son. She has a, a daughter the same age and she was wearing an Andrew Yang shirt and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that you were um uh, a supporter. She said, well, I'm not sure if I am, but I kind of got a little bit drunk during the uh, last debate. And I said, this guy needs to stay in. And so she gave money to the campaign and they sent her a shirt. It's refreshing. And back to Dave Chappelle, um, back to, uh, childish Gambino. I can't remember his, his actual real name. It'll come to me in a, in a minute. Um, there are a surprisingly large amount of comedians. Um, the whole Shane Gillis thing, he's not necessarily a supporter, but that that has been a, a major part of the, the Yang um, gravitas. I don't know, I guess that's the right word. But comedians are looking at this, at him and saying, oh man, he's, he's telling the truth. And he's telling it in ways that we can respect as as other truth tellers. And that's really, I think, significant. It's really something to pay attention to. Um, and it's something that our gener- generation, X, Z, millennials are paying attention because we're used to um, comedians being those truth tellers. Um, I'm that generation where, you know, most of my generation, when when John Stewart was on the the Daily Show, that's where they got their news because it was news, but told in a way that made you feel like it wasn't BS. That's important. And the fact that these comedians seem to be lining up behind Andrew Yang um, is significant. It's very significant. The truth tellers in our world are lining up. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Come to me. Anyone who wants to live, come to me. That's not the rest of the quote, but my brain's not working. We are told by Paul to speak the truth in love, and we as the church haven't done it as well as we should have. We have not been speaking the truth for a while. I have some theories about that. We're not going to get into that. But we're not as good at telling the truth as we could be. And so that position has been taken over by another group, and that's comedians. Andrew Yang is a speaker of truth. Um, it is why, I mean, you, you, a lot of the, the advice to Yang Gang is, you know, just speak the truth. Don't don't tell a lie about Andrew Yang or, like, or twist something to make him seem like he's going to to, to line up with what people say or what they want or what they think. Just tell the truth. Don't tell don't tell lies about other candidates. You know what? Don't don't even tell truths about can, other candidates that you think are going to be advantageous to you politically and to your side. Right? This is it's one of the huge strengths of the Yang Gang is this um well it's math, right? That's backwards. Oops. Um, but it's it's make America think harder. But it's also math. Like, what are the numbers? What is this? What are the numbers actually saying? How do we use the right numbers to to say the right things? So we actually know how things are going. Stock market is great. It's wonderful that the stock market is high, but it doesn't affect most of the population. It's great that the unemployment numbers are low, but it doesn't actually tell the whole story because it doesn't have anything to do with market participation. 
it doesn't have anything to do. It doesn't tell us about, you know, businesses closing. We're not asking the right questions, and that's that's part of the Andrew Yang campaign is asking those correct questions. What does the math actually say? And we, as followers and and um, as fans and as people who call and talk and and Yang people, um, we have to be focused on that truth as well. The truth will set you free. It may make you miserable first, but it will set you free. The gospel of Jesus Christ is um, is both impossible, um, unexplainable grace, just grace, but it's also hard truth that we don't want to hear. It's why most people didn't listen to prophets. It's why most people didn't listen to Jesus. It's why most people don't necessarily listen to truth tellers. So if you are a truth teller, be strong. Um, one thing that was said in the Dave Chappelle thing over and over and over is that he cares immensely for people, but he also doesn't care what they think. And he's willing to tell the truth and tell his truth regardless of what you're going to think about it. We as preachers could learn something from that, couldn't we? If you're not a truth teller, try it. (laughs) Um, Work on it, right? Um, Somebody very wise, I don't remember who it was, said that um, it's easier it's easier to tell the truth than the lie, a, a lie, because you can't, you don't have to keep track of the truth, right? You tell a lie, and then you have to keep track of, okay, what I tell that person this thing, and then you know how does that all connect? It's a lot easier to just tell the truth. There it is. So be a truth teller. Speak the truth in love, um, but tell the truth, and support other truth tellers. If you see someone saying a hard truth. Stick up for them and and tell them that you appreciate it if you do. Even if you disagree with them, tell them that you appreciate it. Because it's hard to tell the truth. It's hard to, to put yourself out there. So keep telling the truth. Keep yanging. Keep uh, connecting and growing in discipleship and and love and grace of the ultimate truth teller, Jesus Christ, who came us and told us the hard truth about who we are, sinners, but also brought a solution. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your truth that sets us free, even though it makes us miserable sometimes. Help us to tell the truth in love. Help us to be your people who say the things that need to be said. Whether yanging someone or preaching from a pulpit or preaching over the backyard fence. Let us be people of truth. Lord God, we pray that you would be with Andrew and Evelyn and the boys and the staff and volunteers in this challenging time when we're waiting and waiting and waiting for polls which may not even show up. When we're waiting for things that may not happen the way that we want them to. As we face challenges and overcome them, Give us wisdom and courage. Give us your wisdom. Give us your optimism. The future and a hope that you are calling us to. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, like this video, share it with someone else, and subscribe if you haven't done so, and click the notification button as well. Um, 
join me next week for for more i'm trying to be a little bit more um uh regular with these videos and i hope that you enjoy them if you do let me know comment below if you agree with me if you don't agree with me if you have something to say please let me know um say things yourself um thank you so much and have a blessed day bye